Championship by the Computer Crimes Division under Chief Vic Lorenzo uh, today in Quezon City. Uh, Mr. Marcos was, uh, Mr. Francis Leo Marcos was arrested uh, pursuant to a warrant of arrest uh, issued by the Honorable uh, Judge Aida Rankel Roque. The warrant is uh, dated February 2018. This is uh, in violation of Republic Act 8050 or uh, the Optometry Law. We have other holdings and uh, we are verifying uh, the uh, holdings of uh, the NBI as against his uh, involvement in uh, other uh, activities. Uh, there, is, there is also a warrant being verified. Uh, this one was uh, filed by the NBI in uh, 2006. The warrant issued uh, for violation of the Anti-Human Trafficking and Persons Act. Uh, this is for qualified trafficking, so this is an unavailable warrant for, for his involvement in uh, the recruitment of uh, uh, children. Also, there is a warrant uh, for violation of Republic Act 9262. It's a uh, uh, exploitation, uh, abuse, and uh, violation of women and children. This one is issued in uh, Japan. Uh, Japan City. Also, we are in the process of verifying the true identity because uh, we have been receiving reports that he had been using a uh, name before, uh, Norman Gahusin. Mahusin, Mahusin, I'm sorry. The uh, person to my right, Mr. Francis Leo Marcos, is assisted by uh, his counsel. Attorney Vistido. And uh, the arresting division is led by uh, no less than the Chief, uh, Chief uh, Big Lorenzo. The uh, accused in uh, the warrants, uh, three warrants so far we have, is advised again of uh, his right counsel as he has counsel, he is assisted by counsel. He is also again advised of his right before the media, uh, of his right to remain silent and of his right to uh, uh, get to, to, to uh, not talk. Anything he says under our custody may be used against him in any, uh, in any uh, forum. Any questions? Sir, ano po yung background po nung sa kakilang po na ipalabas yung third case, uh, third warrant po na bine-verify? Which one? Uh, yung site. 9262? Yung last two, sir, na i-file. Uh, yung isang kasi 20, 2006, sir, yung final po ng NBI. 2006, uh, we have we have the uh, agent who filed this case. He is now a chief, uh, agent uh, or chief Demetria. Chief Demetria? He used to be my agent. I understand that uh, I was the chief of the anti-human trafficking division when we filed this case. Sir, sir. So, happy pa ako na. Uh, dito sa Manila. Yes, sir. And uh, the agent at that time, who is now a chief, is uh, Agent uh, Demetria. Tapos sir, yung isa po, yung Sagapan. <laughs> yung Sagapan, we are verifying the details of this case. We have a copy of uh, the warrant. This is a verified warrant. This is for uh, 9262, abandonment of women, abuse of women and your children. Uh, you would like to say something, sir? If uh, um, accused uh, Francis Leo uh, okay. would like to respond to the media. Um, very yeah. po yan. First and for all, wala po akong uh, kilalang tagagapan. Nga ba'y siya? At hindi pa ako napupunta ng gapan. So, may natatandaan lang ako dyan na meron akong complaint at natagagapan na kinasuhan ako ng uh, istapa, which is 
naglaban po kami sa korte at nanalo po ako, yun po ay acquitted. So baka sila rin po yung may gumawa niyang violation of 926 na yan. Yan po ay hindi po talaga ako tagagapan, eh. hindi ko po kilala kung sino yung nag nagsampa niyan. Regarding naman po dun sa Republic Act 8050, yan po ay noong 2010, uh, nung ako po ay namigay ng libreng optical mission sa buong Baguio City po. Which is kasama ko po yung mga doktor na yan, ang nagdemanda po ay yung may mga may-ari ng optical clinic. Dahil wala po silang kinikita, dahil ako po ay namimigay ng libreng check-up at libreng salamin sa mata. Ngayon po, dahil po yan, taon-taon kong ginagawa yung optical mission na yan, at least three times a week, at three times a year, pag tumikita po ako, uh, nung pong nag-humanitarian ako, the same thing sa General Santos, somehow in 2014, hanggang coronadal, hanggang South Cotabato, uh, isinasampahan din ako ng, uh, ng the same group, yung Integrated Philippine Association of Optometrists. At uh, yan po ay nakuhanan ko ng visit order kay Judge Noel sa Jensa noong 2014. Ngayon, kaya po kanina, nung pumunta po sa akin si Chief Lorenzo, uh, sabi ko ako po isasama sa inyo at para liwanagin natin yung disease order ko at saka yung, uh, yung uh, disease order ko at saka yung uh, warrant of arrest ng violation of R850. Now, yung isa pong uh, warrant daw of arrest involving na uh, human trafficking, yan po ay wala po akong nalalaman at hindi ko po alam yan. Wala po talaga akong nalaman. Hindi po ako na-involve dyan sa kahit anumang illegal na aktividades. Hindi po tayo naging kriminal o hindi po tayo na-involve kahit po hold up o kung ano man. Tayo po ay masipag. Uh, masipag po tayo maghanap buhay. Masipag tayo magtrabaho. Ayun po. Yun lang po ang aking masasabi. The rest po ay uh, sabi lang. Sir, may isang tanong lang po kasi na binagin si Sir Dagin na meron din po silang questions sa identity. Uh, ano po ba talaga? Uh, sir, ganito po kasimple yan eh. Ako, ako po ay Marcos, ako po ay Marcos. Kung may problema po sa pagiging Marcos ko, dapat po nanay ko ang tanahin. Sapagkat hindi naman po ako ang gumawa ng pangalan ko, kundi po ibinigay po sa akin yan ng aking ina. Pero related kayo sa dating presidente ko? Ah, uh, hindi ko po yan masasagot. Ang matasabi ko lang po, kung may question po regarding sa pagka-Marcos ko, yan po yung aking ina. Ako po, nung nagkaisip ng 1997, yan na po ang aking uh, identity, yung Francis Leo Marcos po na yan. So, Andyan po lahat ng mga passport ko, magmula nung kung kaluma-luma ang passport, daladala ko po yan. Ayun po, ang aking masasabi. So, kinuha po kayo ng effort para ma-identify din po, at least may reklamo kung totoo man. Opo, opo, ako po ay may complain sa NBI po, nag-email po ako sa kanya regarding po sa proliferation of those fake account. Na yung iba pa nga po, talaga sinasabi na ako daw po ay, uh, ako daw po ay, ano, uh, nangihingi po ng mga donasyon, hindi po. Uh, nagkaroon lamang po ako ng tamang kaisipan, ngayon pumutok yung lockdown, at uh, sabi ko, uh, gusto ko magkaroon ng kasaysayan ng aking buhay. Kaya po, yung pong pera ko, at asagutin ko na rin ito, uh, marami nagtatanong saan daw yung galing yung aking pera. Ako po'y nagbenta ng ari-arian ko na minana, uh, dito po sa Ramon Isabela, last two years ago, at yung po isang bahay ko, ibinento ko ng halagang 40 million, so medyo malaki-laki po yun, yung 36 sektar na pinagbilang ko, at saka ng aking bahay. Siya pong aking inuubos na pinamimigay ko sa taong bayan. Yun lamang po. Sir, so for the record, hindi ko <coughs> si Norman Mangusip. Ah, hindi po. Hindi po. Hindi po. Sir Lodi, sir, uh, ano pong mangyayari ngayon? Kasi available po yung galing ko sa Baguio na awaran. Uh, pero meron po kayo mga uh, verified, really verified po na mga warrant against Mr. Marcos. Siya po ba i-release? Uh, We will serve these warrants uh, on this person. So basically, mag-detention? Mag-detention, sir. Yes. Yes. And since you're not available po yung isang complaint, until such time po na uh, umabot po ito sa... Until video. such time that the warrant is either revoked, lifted, or... There is a post, a court order by the issuing court of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, warrant. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anything more? No. Clear. Sir, 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 sir. Dito mo na for uh, security reasons. We will have to okay. take care of that. Uh, that would all depend now uh, with the chief uh, after consultation with uh, us and the, the director. Uh, if we will be uh, brought down to the jail, no? but uh, we have some security considerations. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, kasi may mga ibang uh, uh, high value detainees kami. Ah, okay. So we will have to take that into consideration. Ano mo sa Mr. Marcos na ikaw ay mali-detain niya? Ah, yan 
po ay hindi ko mo masasagot ngayon yan. Abogato ko na ang sasagot dyan.